Greetings and welcome back to RimWorld. We're actually quite busy with constructing things. We still got the hydroponics under construction. We got this shield thermal generator. And we got the newly queued up slate crematorium. And the buildings around it. So, uh, well, the walls around it. So yeah, we got a lot to do. Meanwhile, Gray is still making food. Which is good. I might actually need to start getting a second cook. So we got Gray. Who else could do that? One of the new guys, perhaps? Let's get... Let's get the wall to do some cooking. He's actually an artist. I might make use of that eventually if I find the time to uh, make some sculptures. And I'm actually gonna let Payne do some cleaning. He's actually not that useful at the moment because he did lose a hand. I'm gonna fix that eventually once I get some bionic things. Now yeah, who's breaking? Yeah, Lucia, like usual. And we got a whole lot of berries here that have been harvested and have not been hauled yet. I'm guessing no one is actually really doing any hauling. So. Let's actually get let's get the wall to do some hauling afterwards if he can't cook. And let's do the same with Senra. Do some hauling. We need a lot of it. Actually, I need another hauler. We just got so much stuff lying around. McCormick. Yeah, sure. You haul as well. And who's actually mining. Uh, Mole should be mining. Okay, that's fine. Oh, crap. And he's back. <laughs> but he's still starving. He's gonna die anytime soon. And now he's walking... I'm not sure what he's doing. Still moving. Yeah, he's probably gonna die somewhere out there because he's just so slow. And now this is being done. Hopefully no one is actually annoyed by all the dead corpses. Yes, unfortunately someone is. But we actually should have some sort of psychopath somewhere. Let's see. She has bloodlust. At least I think it's a she. Yes, it is. Optimist. Cool skinned. McCormick. Psychopath. I think he just volunteered to do all the grave digging. Oh, yes. And I was also going to try and make this thing a little more efficient so there's a bunch of stuff lying outside of the trade beacon range so i kind of want to fix that i didn't really bother with it too much but i think i should do now so let's get rid of this then they should be hauling this stuff at least within the range of the beacons probably this one that should be it i guess all right. Now oh, this one should actually be fine. So we can store a pedal, weapons. Okay, that should all be good. Now what do we need for this actually? We need, oh right, we need slate, which we don't have at the moment. We need more of this stuff to be chopped. There we go. Meanwhile, this is progressing slowly, but surely. And that thing doesn't actually have any power, it seems. So let's make another small power conduit this way. Then it should get in range, I suppose. And, and he's starving, yes, I know. 
because he's an idiot. Oh, and uh, some of these guys don't have a weapon yet. So we got pain. Well, only pain, actually. And we got a bell good trader. Okay. Well, let's take a look at what weapon pain could be using. He's actually cleaning at the moment. Uh, let's give him the LMG because I can't see anything else at the moment except for snipers. Another LMG there. Okay, fair enough. And now we got a cold snap. Luckily all my buildings should be powered. So that's good. These ones not yet, but uh, the cotton is gonna be destroyed. But as you can see, we got a lot of cloth, so we should be fine. As we really only need cloth for building coolers and four beds. And maybe the heater as well, I'm not sure. Nope, not the heater. Okay. And we got this bell goods guy. Let's see, where is Lucia? She's asleep. But she's already well rested so I'm gonna wake her up and take a look at what this guy is selling so more food as usual but I kind of want to sell some things myself we got some more boar skin okay but that's not exactly much I don't think I need all this salt anymore. And I'm not sure what else. Let's see, well, I should have actually quite a lot of food, but I might as well buy some more potatoes, just to be sure. But we have plenty lying around, but they should actually be frozen, so that's pretty good. We got a lot of food now. I might actually up the limit because we got so many people. Let's make about 60. And let's extend this zone. So that we can actually make six stacks. Alright, and the wall is actually cooking. Not sure what Grey is doing. Hopefully something. And we got a combat supplier. That's interesting. Lucia, where the hell are you? I don't care. Let's go talk. And now we can sell this bow. We can... Hmm. Buy medicine perhaps, but... Yeah, sure. Buy medicine. And what is he selling? Nothing interesting. Just a few melee weapons. Other than that, nothing much. So, yeah, not as good as I had hoped. I guess I'm gonna sell these M16s, uh, M24s, because I got so many lying around anyway. Maybe sell this pistol, maybe sell these Enfields as well. There we go. Not paid for the medicine. Meanwhile, Laystrad is still cleaning, and I must say, things look a little bit cleaner this time. I do say a little bit. <laughs> and all of this stuff needs to be hauled. We actually should have a lot of haulers. Pain, for example. is cleaning instead of hauling. That's not good. That's to hauling and cleaning afterwards. That's better. We got a whole lot of Devil Strand now. That's good, so... I'm guessing we actually have quite a bit of power. We should have anyway. So let's make sure that we can get a, f a few more power filaments. I'm not sure how much I can make. That's, uh, it doesn't actually matter. Just do it forever. I don't need the Devil Strand for anything else, really. Let's power this up and hopefully someone gets to do it. 
We got uh, quite a bit of steel now, which is nice. We're gonna need it for this thing. So what do we need? Uh, we need some electromagnets as well. We don't have any. I'm not sure where we spent them all. We got a few here. So we only... Okay. Oh no. Insane muffalos. Well, that'll be interesting. But, uh... Okay. Well, at least I'm easily gonna see them on the map, since they are, like, huge <laughs> and white. Hmm. We got a cold snap. Actually, I gotta check if people don't have a hypothermia. So far, people seem to be fine. Oh, no, not really. Dylan, Riza, go get a parka. Who else? Most of the other guys seem to be fine for now. Okay, that's good. There we go. My flows. Uh, any more? I can't see any at the moment. So all we got is the mufflows from the south. I'm gonna wait a little while. Okay, maybe now I should draft these people and put them someplace where they can shoot. Like right there. Let's put them all in a row. Too bad these formations suck. <laughs> there we go, fighting squad. Oh yeah, and Rizzo with the minigun. Okay. That's the first wave destroyed. That's good. We can all go back to work. And let's make sure we can pick these things up to chop them up and... I gotta kill this thing. It's actually got hypothermia, which is not good. Come on, dude, hurry up. Before you die of hypothermia. Okay, there we go. Now go get a parka. If we can find one. Okay, there we go. What about Maul? Nothing wrong. Abanquero, Andy. They're all fine. Okay, good. Now you got a parka. That's okay. We can continue. That is, if no more Muffalo are attacking. I don't see any. I guess that may have been it. Okay, fair enough. So, uh, oh, and we got cargo pods. Let's go check them out. And we got more shells and a dead guy, actually. And it's Dylan's birthday. All right. And what's wrong with Arpunio? He's asleep, so he should be fine. He complained about the corpses. Normally this should be built eventually. We need some iron, we need slate. We need cloth for that actually, but uh, we have enough. We just don't have enough iron, I suppose. So I gotta go mine more. I should probably start buying it because... We might run out of iron soon enough. Well, maybe not completely, but at least out of iron that I can see. And that's close by. All of this is pretty far away. But I'm gonna need it eventually. We still got a bit here. I might mine that as well. So, was there actually any other... No trader. Okay, fair enough. And these guys seem to be reluctant on joining my wonderful colony. Well, too bad for them. They're gonna have to live on nutrient paste. 
which is actually not that bad because it's well yeah it's better than survival meals i suppose either way i think i expanded this uh, expanded my town quite a bit now so i'm gonna have to rebuild some more paved tiles somewhere I guess I can get rid of this now, because it's freezing anyway. Have we actually made any power filament? Yes, we did. We got 25, which is nice. And we got more cargo pots. Oh, crap. Wrong button. Now I gotta find what the hell dropped. Hopefully it's nothing good. This was already here, I think. You know, one thing I haven't had yet in this whole playthrough was some people dropping from cargo pods not one i think so that's kind of weird <laughs> hmm, i'm not sure what dropped as i said hopefully nothing interesting we do got a bunch of uh, slate blocks here which i will pick up maybe it was first aid kits not sure now finally someone is actually building graves kind of late i suppose because this should be built pretty soon it's actually snowing now let's see anyone else complaining about hypothermia yes mole let's go get you parka oh oh okay he's uh right okay all right fair enough aquarius is dead <laughs> i think it's for the best he actually froze to that, which is kind of horrible, I suppose. My bad. No one else is having hypothermia, it seems, so that's good. Now we gotta get rid of his corpse. And of course you can do that. Uh, yes, Pain is doing that. It's actually putting him in the grave and we just need a bit of iron for this now we should have plenty of slate blocks up here which should be used they are actually burying them all which is fine i suppose so we do have a lot of food now and it's all frozen in here as well because i actually am not uh, heating up this room i don't care it may be cold but uh, they all have parkas so it doesn't actually matter all that much the heat is much more of a problem than the cold cold snap is over okay apparently boar can't have hypothermia <laughs> So this thing is still far from being completed. Uh, now we got a combat supplier. I'm not sure what actually we can sell. Although I suppose we could buy more medicine. But we actually have quite a lot. 150. And I don't really want to buy too much of it because... If for some reason some people start bombarding my town. Which will obviously happen eventually. And they hit this place. And all the medicine is destroyed. Well that's not very good. So now what was I going to do? I think I used up all the devil strands. Yes, I used up most of it, so I'm gonna power this thing back off. Now we got a solar flare. Oh, that's not good. That's not good at all. Uh, let's see. The main thing is that we should keep these rooms heated, so uh, let's see, let's put a campfire there, let's put campfire there, and one there. That should heat up these rooms. Now just gotta make sure that someone actually goes build that. Nope, who's constructing? Senra, no, Leistrat. Yes, you built that campfire. Uh, the Walt. Nope. Arbunio. 
Yes, you're actually building that heater or not? No, you're sewing tail lilies. Yes, that's not very important now. And we got Reza to build this one. Hopefully they actually get to do that. It's probably gonna hold this stuff first. Okay. Now we're gonna make it. Alright, that's one. Hopefully this doesn't totally burn down my town. Nope. Arbunio, maybe. Yep. Okay. This way these rooms are heated and... Why can't you build it? Oh, Dylan is building it. Okay, fair enough. I don't care about the light. It will just stop the plants from growing, but the lack of heat will just destroy them, which is not what I want. I don't care about the rest of the buildings. These people might start freezing, which might... Oh, and I totally forgot about trying to recruit this guy. Wow. I'm actually surprised that he survived since he didn't get any medicine. What about this person? Okay, this one is fine. Now I'm actually gonna build a campfire here as well. Because I don't want all these guys to freeze to death. So is this thing being built yet? It's actually almost complete. Can Leistrad go do that? That would be nice. We still need this door as well. Actually needs quite a lot of time to build. Oh, this place looks very clean now. <laughs> That's good. And the solar flare is gone, I think. Yep. It's probably gonna get somewhat hot in here. Oh well, it doesn't seem to be that bad. Good. Now, we have quite a bit of power filament. We can actually make nine more of these power cells. Let's do that right away. And afterwards they should be making electromagnets, but we need iron for that. So I think all of the iron has been going into these things, but they are almost built, so that's good. Now how's this? How's the mining progressing? We're mining this. Someone has started it already. And we're mining this as well, that's good. Although it seems like the ore vein was pretty small. We actually got a parka here. Let's pick up the synthread as well. We got more synthread here. And I forgot about the combat supplier, but I don't actually have a lot to sell to him, I think. Most of this is apparel and other stuff. We actually need some sort of light here, I suppose. Where could I put that thing? I got plenty of room here, actually, but let's put it in the middle. And up there, that should do. It should have power, so that's good. Now, what do we get? Uh, Andy. Yeah, okay. Whatever. <laughs> now, hopefully, Dylan isn't too freaked about all those dead people. They should be disappearing very soon. Now we got this thing powered up. It does take up 800 watts. I think I doubled that as well. Oh no. Okay, there we go. Inferno Cannons Part 3. <laughs> uh, okay. Hmm. 
Well, luckily, they will come towards me. Though that might not be very lucky, because that means they will start shooting at my town, but... Yeah, we're gonna have to wait and see. Oh yeah, and now they leave. Yeah, good choice. Still, it's gonna take a while before they arrive. I don't really have the resources to build more turrets, though. But I have plenty, actually, so... It should take them a while to destroy them all. Especially since they actually need to come in range before they can attack them. And that is one of the reasons why I place most of these things inside the town. Because if you place them outside, they will just shoot them from range. And, well, your turrets are pretty much useless. This way they have to come into the town and they will get shot by a lot of turrets. And they are very slow. Almost as slow as Andy. <laughs> no, actually, does everyone have good weapons? The Walt only has a Nuzi. I don't think I have anything better at the moment. Well, we got an LMG. I also don't think I need a lot of snipers because this is going to be urban combat, so that'll be interesting. We got an LMG there, I suppose. I could give the vault the LMG. That'll be interesting. And we still need some copper, apparently. And where do I mine copper? We got a bit hit there, so... We got a whole lot here. That's good. We got some there as well. I guess I'll be mining that when we can. Actually, I'm gonna assign it already. That should do, hopefully. And this is actually almost built. We have enough steel, that's good. But anyway, I guess I'll be ending the episode here. And next episode, we'll be fighting it out with these mechanoids. Now, we do have quite a bit of people. And for once, they will be attacking us. So we should have the upper hand, hopefully. They got a lot of turrets to destroy. So yeah, we're gonna have to wait and see. But hopefully you enjoyed this episode. Thank you for watching and see you next time.